Hello and welcome. This is I seen you before playing Dominion's 4 as early age arc Sephor, and I believe by now it is um episode 20 of our let's play. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah yeah, right now I'm on episode 20. So now that I loaded the turn in, let me explain to you what happens when your philosophers are left to research with something such as um, the Lightless Lantern. They eventually get horror marked, and one result of a horror mark is that every turn you have a chance of being attacked by horrors. And that's actually what happened to one of our philosophers. Um, <laughs> I didn't even have the time to check what was his name. Uh, Megas. This is what happens to Megas. You have those nice creatures called the horrors that eventually has a percentage chance of showing up every turn and getting. Um, an attack, assassination attack on you, and words usually mean the death of uh, your commander. Secondly, the attack of um, is it brass claw or venomous bite? Usually, what happens is that horrors keep stacking more horror marking on top of a commander. But the thing is, you have no idea the value. So, the bigger the horror mark, the more chance, and the bigger horror is more likely to attack you every turn. So, anyways. Was the death of our philosopher probably losing the lightless lantern that he had? Meanwhile, this is a battle that happened in Clone. Just keep an eye out on Ascornius because he's gonna receive a javelin to the face once again. In about he yes, he's dead. Yep, uh, anyways, we just lost one mystic. He's probably dead by now. But at least everyone else is still alive. Call me really fast. And that's usually a quick win with a loss of one mystic and clearing out 21 enemy units. Meanwhile, we receive a tax hit, unfortunately. As well as um, a population hit, and we're still being under siege in Arquisefo, which is already known to us. I'm now gonna be taking away all the equipment from, um, I believe it was Trugo when he died. I'm gonna take away all his equipment and summon a new thug, a new super commander, which will probably be a golem right now on this turn. Take out those chi shoes. Um, Ariad still have the frost brand right there. Take it out right here. Get Athena to cost us a golem construction once again. Probably what we'll do also is like um why why do you have a longbow of accuracy? We don't really need this. Okay, just take put this away. Apia the princess is still here. Yeah, card them out, grab this. Hmm. Can give you the bag of wine. Yes, you can have a longbow now. I actually don't really need this long. Put everyone else on research right now. Bad. I do want to use my death gems. Let's see. Grab this. Um. Hmm, now the sad part is that because the Mount Fiend is dead, we probably need to summon something else. Which is, I believe at this point, might be worth it to get us a Spectre. You know what, Spectre might work just fine as a default thug for now. Might actually be useful. We have this and this for our next thug. Hmm. I believe probably get ready for another thug, so you take this off. I'm going to alchemize two water gems, cause I mean forge a frost brand this turn. Two gleaming shields, no 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 no. Probably I'll need to produce an armor, I believe. An armor would help. Or maybe give that guy a shroud of a battle saint. 
I give him a shot of a battle saint, you can get... Yeah, why not give him a shot of a battle saint for now? That might just work out just fine. Yeah, I think that will do. That will do, I just don't need to build much else, you know. I think I'll just do that. Yeah, I'll just do that for this turn. Um, our research is still in construction. Oh, it'll be done on the next... Well, not on next turn, but uh, it will get us some research going in right now. I'll get a golem and a spectre on next turn, so I'll be able to name two more commanders. Okay, let's see how this goes. Hmm. I'm just... See, just look at how long it's taking to generate. Uh, I guess we can just take a look at the naming list for now. As we can see, the next unit is probably going to be named Ashils, and the next one, Octopodes. Named after uh, Axel and the Green Wombat, the request. And that's gonna complete our naming for this uh, for this list at the moment. So I'm kind of running out of names. So if you guys want to propose any new name, feel free to comment. Otherwise, I'm just going to continue without naming commanders. But yeah, you know, it's just kind of fun to name people. You can see them die and everything. Or we can see them become heroes and destroy our enemies. Anyways, after this long chat, I was thinking that the turn generation would be done. But I was wrong. I've been talking to myself for about 30 seconds now. But uh, there we go. Random events, global events. Should be done now. So a dire portent. Meet talk minister of earthquakes, but a good. Cause a great enchantment. Okay, Chan Chi is now. Oh. That's kind of a pointless enchantment. All he did was cause the. Uh, I believe it's uh, Eyes of God. And so, no, 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 no. Units are affected by disease. Okay. He won the siege both in Clan and Alcocephal. Sure. Omoya is still throwing a lot of crap at us. That's what he's been doing. And I'm still doing just fine on Alcocephal. So what I'll do now is with a newly spawned Nightbane, I can now give him a, a Frostbrand and a Shield of Gleaming Gold, as well as a Sacred Shroud. And Shoes or Boots of a Behemoth, something like this. And our Golem, as for him, he'll get the... Okay, actually, let me let me see if I should give this to the golem and how much defense he has. Oh, 12 defense. Then we can give this to that guy. There we go. They are more rounded off now. That's a bit better. Yeah, that's... Okay. But actually, I, I, if I remember correctly, he doesn't really need a frost brand because he has a life drain attack. And that life drain attack is actually really good. Innate fear is also really good on its own. So, what I might give him is just those shoes, so he can kick people. So he gets to kick people and life drain. That's actually not bad. Two attacks per turn. I'll also give the golem this shield, as well as a firebrand. Yeah. It should, he should be able to stand on his own. I am going to name the golem Octopodus. And name the spectral mage Ashils. So, let's take a look at our naming list, Shoop, but pretty much uh, can get a check here for Ashiel, a check here for Octopodus. And yeah, so right now everyone so far on the naming list has been named. So if you want to get the character name, just go ahead and give us a suggestion in the comments below. Meanwhile, Ashiel is a bit more at the front up there. Okay. And I'll get him to cast Soul Vortex. And then in invulnerability, then hold his turn and attack the closest. As for Octopedus, he'll be like at the front right there. Um, did I order him to hold? Okay, probably don't hold. Okay, for you, you should probably cast Buddy Ethereal and attack closest. There we go. Maybe, yeah, no, that's fine, that's fine. Just verse two, verse two are perfectly fine, yeah. Yeah, that's good, that's definitely good. Should be good, 23 defense, 18 protection, yeah, 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 that's actually not bad at all. That's respectable, respectable amount of uh, protection and everything. 
probably take uh, this skull stuff off um, and order everyone to now break siege as they wanted to do originally. Probably not get the older guys to attack. Yeah, just like this. Like all the, the siege engineers should just chill for this turn. Um, probably give that last guy over there. Let me take a look at the orders. I'm gonna probably move Midnight Fox a bit behind because when I saw when I saw those guys die um, with a javelin, he just gave me a yeah bad bad image in my head. So I don't want that to happen once again. So I'm gonna be keeping them on the back seat uh, so they won't get uh, one shotted by random stuff coming. Also, Athena is still doing great right now. I don't I don't believe that she should. Um, I don't think that she needs to switch to a spell caster mode just yet. But he's getting there. We're getting there really closely. Actually, I might just double check what can Athena cost just to decide. Hmm. Well, you see, using Rain of Stones would actually be not bad at all. But that would end up killing my units as well. So it would end up resulting in something that I probably don't want to happen. Weapons of Sharpness could potentially be a very good buff that she could cost on the army and get them to be really strong. So is Mass Flight. That's actually not too bad. Maybe. Somewhere down the line I'll get her to do a combo of both. Mass Flight and Weapons of Protection would pretty much make those really strong. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll, I'll just leave her be a Battle Mage one more turn. Okay, so we can go ahead and break this siege. We'll do a fine job. Yeah, those units are just defending for now. Uh, now, I wonder if I should just end this episode right there and just let it load. Because the loading time is actually taking longer than what I take to make the turn. Meanwhile, here in construction, we're almost getting to artifacts by next turn. So that's gonna... Well, we're gonna be able to forge some artifacts and probably like lay down the pain on the enemy. So, yeah. That's probably what I will do, just research to construction 8, get a few artifacts going, and yeah, we'll be able to catch back up. The one thing that we'll be facing in this let's play right now is an impending dominion death, so we need to keep on um, stopping the enemy from sieging our stuff and taking over, so we're able to protect our dominion from dying, because once your dominion dies, which means you have no more candles left, that pretty much means that you're dead at this point in time. Also, I'm sorry about the last episode having that weird screeching glitchy noise at probably around 17-ish minutes. I have no idea what happened. I believe it's a small bug with OBS. I, I don't know why it happened. Maybe it's because I received a phone call at that time. I'm not too sure, but I'm sorry if that destroyed your ears. Um, I think I believe I'll, I'll put a description uh, in the video. And I'm hoping this won't happen for this Let's Play. Meanwhile, here's a Chanchi stealing my stuff as usual, and we're breaking off the siege in Clan. So right off the bat, and, and liquid body, so nothing too too dramatic. We're using power of the spheres, wing guide. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off the snow because it's making me lag a tiny bit. He is using ghosts, which is kind of scary. Hopefully our Spectral Mage will be able to deal with him just fine. Yeah, yeah, he's fine. Yeah, he's, he's doing great, actually. Uh, those... Those bar guests might be a problem if they get to our units. Um, yo, it's going around here. Did the bar guests touch... No. Yeah, okay. We're actually doing great. I don't think anyone's gonna die. So it deals a lot of damage to the Formorian Spearman. We got rid of a bar guest. Our line is now pushing forward. Wait a minute. Those great eagles went to the back. Let me see. Oh, wow. Gryar survived. But I think... Oh no, Midnight Fox survived too. But I think he's he's running away. Yeah, Midnight Fox is running away. Is he? No, he's, 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 un, he's unconscious. So he can't run away. But he'll probably run away as soon as he wakes up. But yeah, we are able to just get through the enemy, just plow them straight up. And we won't, we didn't find job. No casualties, no significant casualties. Yeah, 
We actually destroyed the enemy for Moria. And we routed, consequently. Which results in a win for us. Okay. So let me check if we lost anyone. We actually lost three mystics in this. I believe one of them might be might be Midnight Fox actually. Because he was bleeding at one point. So let's check. There's Street Storm at the back. There's Midnight Fox over here. Agape no as well. Let's just press next to see who dies. Okay, so Street Storm died. Yeah. Rest in peace, Street Storm. Uh, and then yes, that's where Midnight Fox dies. Yes, yes, Midnight Fox has died. Midnight Fox has died. Street Storm has died. Uh, otherwise, Octopedus, our shields is alive. Uh, Tilus is still alive. Yeah, otherwise everyone's still doing fine. Everyone's still alive and kicking. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's not bad at all. At least we now have a bunch of... Um, yeah, have a bunch of... Uh oh I might actually need to take a break right there. Sorry for this, everyone. Thank you for watching, and we'll be right back on the next episode.